What is social literacy? Social literacy implies a level of skill in being able to form respectful relationships. It implies learning about the give and take of interacting with others. It includes the delicate, delightful, and sometimes very painful dance of sharing with others and allowing them to be real to us. Beyond stereotypes and labels and beyond simply being a means to fulfill our own needs. Social literacy includes the following social skills. First, social cognition or social skills. Second, emotional intelligence. And third, people skills. Let us have first the social cognition or social skills. Social skills are used to communicate with others daily in a variety of ways including verbal, nonverbal, written, and visual. Social skills are also referred to as interpersonal or soft skills. Verbal skills involve the spoken language while nonverbal communication includes body language, facial expression, and eye contact. Social skills are important because they can help you communicate more effectively and efficiently. As a result, it will help you build, maintain, and grow relationships with colleagues, clients, and new contacts alike. Here are examples of behaviors you can develop to build your social skills and facilitate better interactions in any workplace. First, effective communication. The ability to communicate effectively with others is a core social skill. Second, conflict resolution. Disagreement and dissatisfaction can arise in any situation. Conflict resolution is the ability to get to the source of the problem and find a workable solution. Third, active listening. It is the ability to pay close attention to a person who is communicating with you. Active listeners are typically well regarded by their co-workers due to the attention and respect they offer to others. Fourth, empathy. It is the ability to understand and identify with the feelings of another person. If you have empathy, others will often be more likely to confide in you. Fifth, relationship management. Relationship management is the ability to maintain healthy relationships and build key connections. Lastly, respect. A key aspect of respect is knowing when and how to initiate communication and respond. There are several ways to improve your social skills. Here are just a few things you can do to begin. First, get feedback. It can be helpful to ask trusted friends, mentors, or managers to provide you with honest feedback about your areas of improvement. Second, set goals. Use this feedback to start setting measurable goals toward building a strong, well-rounded set of social skills. The SMART Goals Framework might be helpful to track your progress. Number three, find resources. There are countless class, guides, books, and other tools, both online and off. Well, you can certainly pay for resources. There are also many free options. And lastly, identify areas for practice. Once you've learned tactics and tips for improving your social skills, put them into practice at home and work. So now, let us move on to the another social literacy skill, which is emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence refers to the ability to perceive, control, and evaluate emotions. Researchers suggest that there are four different levels of emotional intelligence, including emotional perception, the ability to reason in using emotions, the ability to understand emotions, and the ability to manage emotions. These are the four components of emotional intelligence. First, perceiving emotions. The first step in understanding emotion is to perceive them accurately. In many cases, this might involve understanding nonverbal signals such as body language and facial expressions. Second, reasoning with emotions. The next step involves using emotions to promote thinking and cognitive activity. 
Third, understanding emotions. The emotions that we perceive can carry a wide variety of meanings. If someone is expressing angry emotions, the observer must interpret the cause of the person's anger and what it could mean. Lastly, managing emotions. The ability to manage emotions effectively is a crucial part of emotional intelligence and the highest level. The goal of these initiatives is not only to improve health and well-being but also to help students succeed academically and prevent bullying. There are many examples of how emotional intelligence can play a role in a daily life. First, thinking before reacting, second, greater self-awareness, and lastly, empathy for others. Emotional intelligence can be used in many different ways in your daily life. Some different ways to practice emotional intelligence include being able to accept criticism and responsibility, being able to move on after making a mistake, being able to say no when you need to, being able to share your feelings with others, being able to solve problems in ways that work for everyone, having empathy for other people, having great listening skills, knowing why you do the things you do, not being judgmental of others. So, understanding emotions can be the key to better relationships, improved well-being, and stronger communication skills. Being emotionally intelligent is important, but what steps can you take to improve your own social and emotional skills? Here are some tips. First, listen. Take the time to listen to what people are trying to tell you, both verbally and non-verbally. Second, empathize. Imagine how would you feel in their situation. So, the ability to reason with emotions is an important part of emotional intelligence. Consider how your own emotions influence your decisions and behaviors. When you are thinking about how other people respond, assess the role that their emotions play. Now, let us proceed to the last social literacy skill, which is the people skills. An accountant needs to be good at math. A web developer needs to learn the newest programming languages. And a doctor needs to keep up on the latest medical research. However, everyone who wants to succeed needs to be fluent in a particular people skills. To wrap it up, social literacy includes the following skills social cognition and social skills, emotional intelligence, and people skill. So these skills are very important in our daily lives in order for us to create a relationship, build, and maintain harmony. It is also for us to avoid conflicts in our daily lives. So I hope that you learned something today about socializing with others. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.